Jay Mike. Joel. Then. And today. Stuff is again on the table. Stuff is again on the table. And today, Joel, so we have the Puma Evo Power Dot. The bigger dot. dot. 3D, whatever you want to call it, and K dot. K dot, wow. Did you get the reference? No, I didn't get it. <laughs> First Once of all, again. <laughs> when you saw this boot, uh, you just saw it uh, minutes ago, and you said something. What did you say? I said that on the scale of dopeness, it's up there. Listen, guys, shiny, uh, purple, bluish, you know, fluorescent kind of vibes. Mm -hmm. It looks slick. You know, I'm, I'm kind I, of I'm loving bit, it. I'm a bit in the other camp, to be honest, because I'm not really necessarily feeling the evil power vibe on this one. Yes, it has uh, it has the uh, the AccuFoam uh, dots, but that's about it. It has the soul play, but uh, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm feeling this a lot more. But in terms but of looks, in terms of looks, yes. Uh, we're also gonna talk even the colorway, even the colorway. I think this really? is fresh. Really? I'm not the, I'm not into the whole purple thing. I it's, think this is so nice, <laughs> you know? It's anyway. like it's like it's Oops. dark, it's mean, but it's still super nice, you know? So this and is this match is like, you know, how I'm feeling at the moment, especially today. I'm feeling kind of purple. You're feeling kind of purple and dark and mean and wow, okay. It's one of those days. <laughs> one of those <laughs> philosophical days. But Jolter, uh, the new boot here, some people might be able to see that it's not your ordinary evil power that has just been you know updated with a lot more dots as you can see there are dots everywhere it kind of looks like it has some some sort of acne going on underneath uh the coating but what it actually is um i'm gonna pull up the evil touch as well because as you can kind of see the sock is should we say more or less the same height as on the evil touch but with Except something on the on on the heel yes yeah. So that's kind of a unique thing to the dot. But but it has, it is called the Evo Power and it has the AccuFoam from the Evo Power. So what's going on is um, that they kind of took close to the sock construction from uh, the Evo Touch. You can kind of see it on the on the tongue part uh, or the, the place where the tongue is normally supposed to be, that we have the same um, kind of uh, spotted um, uh, tongue with holes in it for ventilation. And then they kind of took the AccuFoam dots, uh, both on the inside and the, uh, the outside, on the upper and the inner part of the sock, and they put the AccuFoam dots. But instead of putting the Adablight from the Evo Power on top of the sock with the dots, they just coated it with a thin layer of silicone, so you feel the dots a lot more. Damn. Added dots for your pleasure. Damn. You it's funny, I, I have to... No, I didn't get okay. that reference. Okay. It's funny because we just got the new Opus yes. where they removed the dots. Yes. And now <laughs> we're getting the new Evo Power dots. But to be fair, these dots don't look as bad as no, the no, ones no. on the Opus did. But the main, you know, takeaway, mm -hmm. and the key takeaway, in my opinion, of this entire video, is that this is a lot stiffer than yes. the OG. Um, yes. At a flight, you know, it's not it, it's not like super steep. It's not like oh, we're dying here. You no, know? but, but you can already feel that it is. It has potential to stretch and so on, but it's not the same. But come on, this but is it, next level. It, but, does, but it, doesn't have, it, it doesn't have a chance. Listen, man, the the Evo Power Vigor doesn't do justice to any other boot on the market when nope. it comes to being soft. Nope. You know? Nope, you're right. It's, it's, it's kind of like wrong to even compare anything to this, it's in my tough, opinion. It's a tough act to follow. Let's just put it like that. But I think that it has some potential. And it's nice that Puma thought, okay, hey, we got a thing going with the AccuFoam dots. And it, it doesn't really come, you know, uh, too much to justice on this boot because the Adab Light does cover a lot of like the, the, the protrusion of the dot because they simply, Joe, it doesn't jump out enough and doesn't give you enough uh, bumps and texture and friction. Mm -hmm. um, so I think they kind of have a point in doing this because you, you do get a different feel on the ball when you have dots like that. And it's more like just socks and, and, and the AccuFoam. So that's pretty interesting. But but still, this just it just doesn't look as uh, low cut and mean and, and elegant as the Evo Power does. Um, you know, it has a little bit of a different kind of vibe, mm -hmm. you know? But I, I would still not, you know, judge the book by its covers. No. And I would love to try, I still haven't played with even the bigger yet. Are you serious? Because I, you know, I haven't been able to, to have play you, football yet. Have you even had it on your foot for of longer course. than five minutes? Yes, yes, I've had it on my feet and so on. Like, but I would, I, I would love to try both of these. I, I honestly think that I'm gonna love this with, you know, all my heart. Yes. But I even think I'm gonna like this a lot. 
Uh, no? I, I, I tend to agree with you because the good thing about the touch um, that I kind of take away from this is that the sock is absolutely brilliant. It's it one is. of my favorite socks on the market. Amazing. And if they've taken just, you know, anything close to that and put it on the Evo Power Vigor Dock, uh, it, it's, it's, it's a really, really good thing because, yes, I really like the, the spandex sock on the Evo Power. It yes. is magnificent and the height is just right. That's one of the reasons I love this boot so much. But I think that if you do need to have a higher sock, the material on this, the stretchiness, the, the kind of lightness you get from, yes. from the sock, it doesn't feel as you're strapped in as you do in, in, in the Nike boots, for instance. So, so it's really, really nice. And just combining that with not having the extra piece of leather um, is really good. My only gripe with this is that the toe box also seems to be really, really roomy on this. I don't know. Yes, <laughs> that's why That's why I think I'm going to love this boot, you know? I, you know, I tend to like boots, well, you know, I like boots that have nothing, uh, any like kind of adjustments or, you know, foam pads or whatever uh -huh. on, on the uh, upper. Uh -huh. But I also like the ones that do have them, you know? So that's why I think. So basically what you're saying is you like all boots. I like it all. <laughs> Just give me a wide boot, soft upper. I'm game, you know, I'm, I'm but, gonna like but, it. But the whole thing that you like that it doesn't have any elements, does that mean that you can stretch it a lot more because your foot is so massive that you just need the upper to be flexible? Listen, I can stretch a whole lot of boots, you know? If I can't stretch it, then it is a steep upper because I yes. put them through a serious test. Yes, you know? we, we have just we just recently saw the uh, the Super Atom release. You're not gonna be able to stretch that. <laughs> let's, let's just put it like that. It's one of those things. <laughs> but, 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 but summing this up, I know you like the colorway, but what would you like, what would you wear if we look at the Evo Power, the normal Evo Power Vigor and, and the dot version? You know, I've kept on saying this. Uh, when I'm able to play football, yes. one beautiful day. One beautiful this day. Year, this is going to be the boot that I'm going to lace up. Okay. You know, okay. The, just because I, I just need to, I just need to experience the Vigor firsthand. You know, but I'm still gonna show some love to the dot as well. Especially if I really, really like this. And uh -huh. I know we keep on saying this, but Puma, you guys are killing the sock game. You know? They are, they all are. All the it's... Puma socks are the best. Like you can line all them up, all the different variations, and they are all in the top three, four, whatever. They, they take are all the spots. Absolutely brilliant, I, and I agree with you. And I'm gonna try it out. I think it's gonna be hard to beat the Vigor because it is such an absolutely outstanding football boot. Yes. It's really underrated. It's one of the best boots on the market. So this is naturally gonna have a hard time. But I like the idea, and I like the fact that they give people who, who like the Vigor and who like the, the, the tech specs of the Vigor a higher solution. So and and. Some people might even argue that this is too soft for their liking. Absolutely. You know? Some people want a little bit of a tighter feeling upper. Mm -hmm. you know? I'm one of those guys that I, I need to have the boot as close to my foot as possible. That's, That's why I always buy or get like a half a size or one size down. Oh, just so I can stretch it out. Ronaldo. You know? <laughs> so I, I really think this is a good move from Puma. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I can't say that much bad about uh, the, the, the dark boot because I think it has a lot of elements. It's probably not going to be the most widely appreciated boot. Uh, maybe also because of the looks. It does look a little bit, uh, I think, uh, chunky. But, but it has a lot of potential. The sock is good. I love the AccuFoam dots, and if this coating can can soften up, it has potential. I think. I think it will. Um, I don't see why it shouldn't be a good playing experience. So, uh, so what do you say, Jolter, that we round it off there? Let's do that. Any you know? any any last remarks? Just just say that that basically what you should take away from this video is that uh, the dot is basically a mixture of the Evo Power and the Evo Touch, and it has perhaps the colorway that I have seen Jolter react the best two uh, for the last half year. I love the colorway, you know? And you know, I just, listen man, I have a whole lot of love for our good friends at Puma. I think they're killing it, you know? They are. Like they seriously, they're coming up with some crazy stuff. Mate, you know what? Um, like, I, and I it's agree underrated, I, it's so underrated. I agree with you, they come up with great stuff. I'm not necessarily that big of a fan of the Evo Speed SL, but it, yeah. it's an all right boot, yeah. it's not bad. But the Evo Power has been so unappreciated for such a long time. The colorways are dope, uh, and they're actually doing innovative good stuff, but they yes. just don't have the same money muscle as, as Nike and Adidas. Exactly. And, and yes, Adidas are also killing it, but Puma are doing a good job that I think deserves recognition. Yes. Uh, so, so we're kind of standing, uh, kind of standing up for the little guys here because um, they, they, they have super big ambitions and they actually have products 
to match those ambitions. Yes. I, I think it's it's pretty good. Okay, but we're rambling on. Um, what we want to say is that, of course, you can win to experience yourself the evil power dot, and hopefully they will make you go, what are those? Like Jolter did when he saw him. Um, oh. <laughs> and Jolter, uh, basically, what should people do to get these? Because do we, do we want more dope comments? We want more dope comments, you know? And this time, what, are, what, what can we come up what with? What can we come up with? Okay, okay, let me put it this way. This is a combination of the Evo Power and the Evo Touch. Kinda, I know it's not the official explanation, but it kinda looks like it. But if you could combine two football boots into something something, what would they be? And of course, don't write dope, but make it a dope comment. Make it a dope story. And you might be the one to back this super dope boot. You said it, man. And with those words, uh, don't forget guys, obviously, to uh, give us a subscribe, hit the button right up there. Reward us with a like if you had a good time with these videos, as always. And make sure to spread the word about the new dog boots and Unisport in general by sharing the video with your friends. And Joseph, with those words, I think it's time we say goodbye. Signing off. I'm just gonna say K-Dot. <laughs>